this mansion, I'ma call it caulking. Pay the full, I'ma high fight. Know you're tired, we just did dinner for three hours. Like, I tell me all night. I'm not showing up to no damn court. Are you crazy? Oh, he about to hit the car. Is it hot or is it just me? Drop me jump right off the curb. Yeah. Bitless run fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick of that bird. Young on the one that they working my nerves. I'm about to pause and so serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Yeah. Smack from the back of a perm. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Uh, Shitting on all you little turds Can't take that dick with your turn In my own land we can't merge So with no hands you can learn Let's see how much you can earn Why me go big like the worm And I ain't smoking no shirt I'm in the big with P. Liddy QP, QP ski I love my bitches, it's pretty They showing their titties, it's up to the center I let her run through a million I rock with her really, let's fuck on a billion I'ma get down to the gritty Then fuck up the city, the home of the villains SSC want to fulfill Smoke out the pound when I'm chillin' Trappin' I made me a killer Look, I got everybody wishing. I hope you play your position I don't want nobody listening. I see them hoe with precision Give it my only decision Young on the one that back callin' me splurge Drop me jump right off the curb Bend this run fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third Solid, I'm keepin' my word Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard Crank up the four and I swear Keep me a stick of that curb Picking up my stink. He's acting like a baby. But that's okay because he is the baby. He is my baby. But anyways, girl, I was just going to show y'all what I ended up getting from Target. Um, what I ended up eating today for food was... Um, what's it called? Tropical smoothie. I had their Caribbean jerk wrap. But I actually today told them to put it in a flatbread. And it was so good, girl. But anyways... um. So I purchased two pillows, ended up getting their two pillowcase, microfiber. I ended up finding me this just regular plain um, calendar. I had just gotten this five subject college rule um, notebook. I got these Sharpie highlighters. Um, I had gotten these Sharpie pen markers and then I had gotten these pencils and these are gel pens but girl i'm extremely exhausted like i don't know if i'm just experiencing some jet lagging right now i just want to i need to take a nap because if i don't take a nap i'm gonna be useless hey y'all so i'm trying to get some like the right angle because 
I don't want y'all to just be like all up in my face like that. But then at the same time, girl, y'all just gonna be right there. So we about to get into some skincare. Um, I have cleansed my face. She is looking cute. Okay. Um, so we're gonna get into it because um I just feel like I need to really like reset my face. So we probably won't do that today. We're probably just gonna do like a regular skincare today. Um, so I'm just gonna take some of these um exfoliant uh pads from Target. I like these because they have the part on the back where you can kind of like scrub to get the dead skin off. So I might use that today. And I'm just gonna go in with some micellar water. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go in. This ain't no like necessarily no tutorial. This I just wanted to come in and talk to y'all really quick. Um, and do my skincare while I um talk to y'all about my trip to Atlanta and also just kind of like where my head space is at right now. I feel like I really want to talk about that. Um, so I had a really good trip to Atlanta. Um, I went to go visit my father, or <laughs> my father, good lord. I went to go visit my, um, grandfather. Um, he lives in Atlanta. Um, so yeah, so it was a really good trip. Um, I don't know, I think I mentioned earlier, like, I just felt like I needed to get away. And, like, really just relax and stop feeling like I have to be on constant go mode. I feel like I have been on constant go mode since I moved here, you guys. And so, I'm like, girl, you just need to get away and get away and don't do nothing. Because when you come back, you do have a hectic schedule. And right now, you just need to kind of, like, allow yourself to... Okay, I think that's why it's looking weird. I'm like, why is there, like, no light? I forgot to turn these lights on. I'm like, I just feel like I've never seen it, like... Okay, so much better, Jesus. I literally was looking like I have never seen it look so freaking just dark. <laughs> it looks so dark for some reason. Y'all, my skin is glowing. Who are you talking to? Like, I'm going to drop the skincare routine. Because, like, everybody been asking me, Loki, for, like, a long time, actually. And I hadn't dropped it because... I feel like we always be like, no, like, my skin's not, like, super where I need it to be. But, like, girl, if you can get on the camera with no filter and it's giving, it's still giving skin regardless of the, the, the minimal, like, blemishes or even dark marks that you have, you are winning in life, okay? I'm just going to go in with some toner. This is a Peach and Lily um, AHA -A -A and Turmeric Toner. Um... But I was looking at some of my old videos and I was like able to notice and see the difference in my skin. So yeah, girl, I'm going to put y'all on. I'm going to put y'all on on what I've been doing because I want to help the girls out. I want to help all y'all out because I feel like everybody deserves nice, clean, good skin. Okay. And with my snail essence, um, put like two, no, put like three to four pumps. So I just feel like ever since I moved here, you guys, I have been on the hustle bustle like i haven't really spent time like trying to enjoy myself i know that i have goals and i am a very like determined person and because i'm so determined and very much ambitious i constantly just feel like i have to like be doing something to work towards my goals like i need to be just constantly like being productive and doing something kind of like Oh, there's no time for playtime but I feel like life is really about balance you guys and I think it's important to of course be determined and get your shit done but also like have fun like life is about having fun life is not about you know working yourself to the ground and then you wake up and how many years have passed and you haven't really like enjoyed yourself and i'm tired of like constantly living that day-to-day -day hustle and bustle you know um and i think like to have a hustle and be a hustler is great like as far as like the mentality but there comes a point in time where that kind of gets old and it's just kind of like all right I'm ready to like shake my ass on a yacht. I've been suffering. I suffered for 19 years. It's time for me to shake my ass on a yacht. Oh, oh, my God. God. In Dubai. 
in the phone. Wow. <laughs> Pretty much, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna go in with some collagen. Um, but no, for real, like I'm just ready to like go have some fun. And I feel like too, what I really wanna get into um, is just like not feeling like, oh, because I don't have like friends and stuff here that I can't go do stuff. I think sometimes we feel, we hold ourselves back from enjoying ourselves because we, all, we always feel like we have to like do it with somebody else. Um, Y'all, I've always been kind of like, I guess a loner um and I don't really even like that term because it's kind of like what do you even mean by that I'm choosing to be to myself and I'm not a loner because I don't have nobody I'm I, I'm choosing to I'm that's just how it's always been right and so anyways never mind the term I am a true introvert yeah and so but there are times where I'm like okay hey i want to go do this activity or go to this event it would be so cool so dope to be able to do it with somebody else all this beautiful weather here in texas and i just been in the house like i don't want to be in the house no more okay when i went to atlanta i actually ended up going out by myself because i just i tell myself like when i come back to dallas like that's just what i'm going to start doing i'm going to start looking up places Y'all know TikTok is good for telling y'all the, the good places to go. And so while I was in Atlanta, I was like, well, shoot, might as well start out. <laughs> so I ended up going to this place called um, Pasha. Um, it's like a hookah lounge and they have like, and they have a bar and they have like a restaurant and stuff like that. It was real cute, real cute. Very like, like, I guess upscale. That's what they was calling it when I was there, like an upscale hookah bar or whatever. It was cute. They play like good, like pretty decent music or whatever. Um, so, I mean, I had an okay time. I'm going to go in. I'm actually probably just going to use the last bit of this. It's literally like nothing left in here. It's the Good Molecules um, Discoloration Correcting Serum. Um, I really love their products. They actually sent me some PR, you guys, and I've completely used all of their products like it's really good they're that, that's part of the reason why my skin's looking like this are you kidding me i guess to like really just wrap up everything that i'm trying to really say is like y'all about to start seeing me like go going outside okay and we starting out we starting out going outside this weekend this weekend we finna be outside y'all because um jodeci girl if you if you know me if you even really freaking know me you know I'm a 90s baby to the to the heart to the teeth to my soul okay like God knew what he was doing when I was born in the 90s okay so I'm like for the 90s all the time like I'm gonna choose it over everything every time so Jodeci Drew Hill SWV are you kidding me Jodeci Drew Hill and SWV I'm literally, I can't even breathe. Are you kidding me? So, um, yeah, we're going to be attending that concert um, this weekend. I'm going to be singing my heart out. Like, y'all going to see, I'm going to be literally singing my heart out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my a BHA uh, gel cream from Acne.org. Y'all, this has been a staple in my skincare regimen for years. So... Um, that's what we're going to be using today. Um, but I like to just honestly put this all over my face. So anyways, another thing that I realized like while I was, um, while I was in Atlanta, like just like having like conversations with my grandfather, like I just tend to like, and I don't know if it's imposter syndrome, but I tend to hold myself back because... I don't know. It's not that I don't think that I can do or accomplish the things that I'm trying to do. It's just like, I don't know. Like, I think there's something programmed in me to feel like I have to be perfect with what I'm doing. Or maybe it's like I'll be consistent and then I just don't. I'll be consistent and then I just don't. It's not because I have anything wrong with being consistent at all. Like, it's not about... I don't, I don't have an issue with being disciplined and being consistent. Is I get in my head about the content that I'm recording. And it's more like I tell myself like, oh, like this is not good enough. It needs to be like this. It doesn't look like this. And I don't know why I'm such a huge critic to myself. And it sucks because like I'll record the 
the content and I won't post it but I'll look back like maybe a few weeks later I'll look re-look at that content that I recorded and like during the moment when I recorded it I'm like this content is trash like no you're not about to post that but then like weeks later or even months later when I review it again I'm like girl you actually that content would have ate like that content would have been so good if you would have posted it and I don't know like why I get in my head and I do that um because it's like I'll be consistent for a little bit and I'll be like you know what F it like I don't care like I'm just gonna post I don't care and then I just like well for real like just get in my head and then I'll just stop posting because in my head I'm just like oh no this content is not not good enough or you're not it's not you know what I mean I don't know I don't know but anyways what I'm trying to say is um I was talking to my grandfather and we always have great conversations and you know deep conversations and whatever and he was just like girl what you need to do especially because you do a lot of these things every day he's like just turn the camera on but he was just like turn the camera on and just record he said don't worry about if it's going to be perfect don't worry about you know so he i just love that man so much like y'all have no idea and so it's just funny because of the conversations him and i have and you know he's not even into like the whole social media like realm type of thing but it's just funny like hearing it from him and it actually means a lot um from to come from him so that's what i'm doing i just had been really down like kind of in my spirit and so it was nice to like get away and at least see some of my family like to go see my grandfather especially because him and i are, are really close and so and then like the talks that we had and it just really like made me feel really good like coming back and kind of like resetting my mindset and just like kind of like not starting over but like you know what i mean Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with the Cozarex. Why does that look blurry, girl? I don't know. It's the Cozarex um, All-in-One Cream. So then I'm just going to go in with... Um, this is also has been a staple in my skincare routine for many, many, many years. I'm going to put this on my face for tonight. Hey, girl. So I am back from work. And I just got out of the shower, y'all. But girl, do I have something to tell you? I'm about to just do some skincare. Um, y'all, tell me why my crazy self then got pulled over on my way coming on my way leaving work. Well, really, I was coming back to work. So let me tell y'all the story really quick, y'all. Okay, so I'm leaving work, y'all. And as I'm leaving, I'm like driving and I'm like, dang, I forgot my water bottle. And I'm like, okay, I could just turn back around because I didn't make it far. I could really just turn back around and grab it. Or I'm trying to like, in my head, I'm like, should I just come back during the week? And I was like, I don't want to do that. So I'm driving, y'all. And um, I'm about to turn, I'm about to make a left turn and the light was like yellow, but then it turned red, like fast, right? And I had already made the turn, right? So I'm parking the car. Next thing I know, I see lights. So in my head, I'm like, damn, fuck, they about to come get me, right? So that's what they did. They came and got me. Well, I'm sitting down, right? And... Or not sitting down. Obviously, I'm in the car. Um, I park my car. The officer comes up to me. And, you know, he introduced himself. I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, cool, cool, whatever. Nice to meet you. Do you know why I stopped? Or do you know that you just... He said, you know, you just ran a red light. But, you know, I'm, I'm telling him, like, you know, no, I'm sorry. Like, I thought the light was still yellow when I had made the turn. And then he said whatever he had to say. And he... Um... I don't know if he first asked me, you know, where am I headed to? I think I was just like, you know, I'm leaving work. And then he goes, um, okay, and, and where are you headed to? And I'm like, I'm going home. Why after that, this officer decides to say, so how many drinks have you had?
What? How many drinks have I had? I'm baffled. Sir, what are you talking about? The delusion is crazy. How many drinks have I had is actually insane. Because why would you assume that I've been drinking without properly asking, have you had any drinks tonight? You see the difference in those two questions? Have you had any drinks tonight? How many drinks have you had? You see where the assumption is lying? So I said to him just that. I said, why are you assuming I'm drunk? He was like, I didn't assume you're drunk. I said, drinking. I asked, have, you know, have you been drinking? I, I said to him, I said, I literally just clocked out. Like literally, not even 10 minutes ago, just clocked out. Like, he goes, okay, well, are you allowed to drink on the job? What are we doing right now? Are we, are we still assuming that I've been drinking? Like, what? And the thing that's funny is like, I already said, why are you assuming I'm drinking? You then say you're not. But the questions that you keep asking me are literally as if you still are thinking I'm drinking. What's wrong with you? Like, literally, what's wrong with you? And so, um, I think after that, he just said, okay, um, he may have asked me a few more questions, but at this moment, y'all, I'm still stuck on the assumptions that you're making right now. So after that, um, he, um, at this point I had figured maybe he's, cause he had left for a little while. So I'm like, okay, if he's gone this long. You know, this ain't finna be no warning. He about to like, for real, give me the citation. Which, fine. Give me the citation. I'm not even tripping off the citation. Cool. It's the fact that you are assuming that I've been drinking. So he comes back and he's like, um, okay, so I am going to give you an, a citation. I said, okay, that's fine. Mind you guys, the whole time I've been talking to the officer, regardless of him assuming that I've been drinking already, I hadn't like had no attitude or nothing. I was still talking to him very politely and very respectfully. So I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. Cause like I said, I'm not tripping off of this citation. Like I kind of already figured that that, that that was gonna happen because the area where I work, it's a whole bunch of like bars and stuff like that. So I honestly should have known better at that time of night to, to be on my P's and Q's because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for people to make small errors. After that, he's like, you know, I'm gonna give you a citation. Blase, blase, okay, cool. You know, he's like, do you have any questions for me? I'm like, no, I don't have any questions. I said, but you probably shouldn't assume. This is what I said to him. I said, you probably shouldn't assume that someone's been drinking. Because, I mean, I'm sorry, but that's a very terrible assumption. Especially since I didn't give you no type of, like, indication that I had been drinking like you literally asked me where my my whereabouts were about to be I told you it and that's that I wasn't slurring my words I wasn't you know I wasn't like speaking to you unconsciously I wasn't doing no weird behavior for you to have made that assumption and this is the this is the problem that people have with officers this is why people say they don't like officers is because y'all sit there and y'all make assumptions of a situation that you're going into and then you go off of your your pre pre-made assumptions instead of trying to figure out what is it what is this irritation on my skin okay so let me just finish the story and we'll get to that part so then um after that he was like i didn't say drunk I said, I didn't say drunk either. I said drinking. Mind y'all, like I said, I don't have no attitude with this man. If I'm going to be completely honest, y'all, it's very late. It's very much very, very late. I don't even have the energy to get no tood with nobody. And I don't even have no energy to argue with nobody. So I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't being like no kind of way. I wasn't being like rude or disrespectful. But I mean, I definitely was very much offended that you had already made assumptions that I had been drinking. And I literally haven't had not one thing of drink. I don't even, when, when was the last time I even had a drink? Like, I don't even, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, what's going on? 
there's nothing wrong with taking that accountability regardless of whatever authority you feel like you have there's nothing wrong with taking that accountability like you know what you're right i was wrong he then tried to like go back and forth with me it's not a, a, a it's not an invalid statement because of the location that we're we're at um you know he tried to make it seem like he tried to justify pretty much like his you know his assumption making because yes you were very much in the wrong for assuming that i had already been drinking now if you would have said have you been drinking that's not a problem I, I understand why you would have asked me that of course because of where where we're located but the fact that you had already assumed that i've had a drink or two that's kind of wild and then when i told you no you then said are you allowed to drink at your job my guy i just said i haven't had no drink so it's kind of like it's given it don't matter what answer i was going to give you you're still going to assume that i've been drinking and that's weird like that's very much weird girl he's talking about if you want to um you need by this date you need to show up in court i'm not showing up to no damn court are you crazy i am not showing up to nobody's court let me call these people tell me how much my fucking ticket is and i'll pay the fee i don't give a damn i'm not showing up to nobody's court what do i need to show up to court for damn no, I don't have time for that. I'm a busy woman. I got shit to do and it's not showing up out court. Not for no damn running no red light. How much ever the ticket is, we gonna just pay it. That's just that. Confess my love Really seem like I wanna test my love For you who don't know how to express my love That's why American Express my love for you I need you, yeah, I really do Tell me what to do Tell me what to do Tell me what to do All I know is hit the mall And see what damage I could do I give you the world, but there's other planets too And I need someone to be patient with me Someone to get money with, not take it from me But they don't even need to be as famous as me 
think I meet them at the places I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. Come and rescue me. Take me out the club, take me out the trap. Take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a calm and rest me. Take me out the club, take me out the trap. Take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a
Um, I did my hair. I wanted to do a butterfly braid, but the way my hair was acting, that was just not going to work. And I needed to hurry up and do something. So I just twisted the braid into a bun, which I actually think is really cute. I paired it with these Naivista earrings I've had for years. Um, the outfit that I'm wearing is super cute. Um, I actually got this outfit. And I'm going to be wearing these heels with it too. So literally this whole outfit is from Akira. Um, so this is super cute with these jeans. Maybe when I come home, I'll try to give you guys a better look. Please don't mind this box. That's a project that we're going to get on. <laughs> but these gold shoes are super cute. They're like strap up gold shoes. But I'm not going to wear them on the way. Um, I'm just going to wear my, my flats. And then I have my this bracelet on, this this watch on. I have this um, inspired Armani Code um, oil on. It actually smells amazing. I will say it doesn't last as long, but it smells really good when you first put it on. And then I'm actually going to, I paired it with this uh, Prada cologne. This is actually a mint cologne, but it smells really powdery fresh, and I like that. Um, and it's called um, La Home. So, yes. So I smell really good, you guys. And then I'm not going to carry, like, a bag. I'm just going to actually bring my wallet because I don't know, um, I don't know how they're going to, like, weird they're going to be about bags and stuff like that and I don't have time to like be trying to bring a bag I get all the way to the front and then they're telling me I need to turn around and then I gotta walk all the way back to my car so we are actually really late right now like I think the venue is an hour away girl and the concert starting in like 30 less than 30 minutes so we are extremely late and I'm kind of upset about it but we're not gonna get into that right now I'm not gonna bring my camera I'm just gonna vlog vlog off my phone um, and I think later on I do want to try to get some photos or whatever but we're gonna catch up later i don't have time to talk and explain anything right now um i'm just trying to get to the concert okay so i will catch y'all at the concert
But it's caused me to act in such a crazy way
first of all, amazing concert. Like, those are the type of concerts I like to go to. I am a 90s baby at heart. I'm an old soul. So, I love all the old jams. So, um, the concert was literally amazing. Like, so freaking good. So... They all did really good. Drew Hill, for what I was able to see, did really good. Because, y'all, we did get here late. And, unfortunately, they didn't have... Uh, or maybe they did. I'm not sure. But by the time I got in there, I don't know if they had an opening act or not. It kind of seemed like they were just going with um, the only the three artists. So, I don't think they had an opening act. Um, but I miss a lot of drew hill like pretty much i think i i seen drew hill perform maybe one and a half songs and then cisco did a song of his so it was sucks because i have really wanted to see drew hill you guys and so by the time i got here and i had went to the bathroom before i got seated i heard them singing already and i was like damn so anyways swd swv did amazing um and then of course jodeci they just they did so good y'all so um i have a lot of clips that i'm gonna insert probably but girl i should have packed me a snack or two because like right now i'm just sitting here because everybody and their mom is trying to get out and so there's no point of trying to get out right now i'm just gonna sit in my car but girl let me tell you about the journey i had took just to get to the venue so after i parked my car you guys I get into, um, well, as I'm trying to, like, driving up to park my car, I'm, like, noticing that nobody, like, all the females, they're not, they're not wearing no type of heels. Like, I think I've seen one or two females wearing heels, but all the females I've seen, they were either wearing cute little flats or, um, if it was a heel, it was, like, very much supported. But I didn't really see too many heels. I seen a lot of sneakers, and I seen a lot of just, like, cute other, like, sandals and stuff like that. So, I was kind of like, hmm, that's interesting, right? I was like, okay. Um, I should have taken that as a sign. Because <laughs> now I know next time, I'm, I don't care how far the venue or how close the venue is. I will always, for now on wear my flats until i'm seated and then i will put my heels on if i want to girl i literally should have just kept my flats on one it was it went cute with my outfit but two girl when i say my feet had looked like those memes where their feet was like over <laughs> their heel and they had looked at just a hot mess girl that is what i looked like i was so embarrassed because i hate looking like that female who don't know how to walk in her heels or is giving girl why you buy them shoes you can't even walk in them type of thing and my feet was literally like my toes i have never like my toes was pretty much touching the the um the concrete because that's how far over they were on my on my for my shoes and i was literally so embarrassed y'all like i was just like and I, I was walking into the venue with this um girl very pretty girl her name was uh ebony and she was so sweet y'all she was so sweet i probably should have like gotten her information as far as like her socials and stuff because she was really so sweet like she was literally like are you okay like do you, do you want me to do something and she was like let's stop by like a restaurant and maybe get you some napkins to like wipe your feet like she was literally like a friend that i never knew i needed like girl she was so sweet so anyways she walked with me and even she wasn't wearing no heels she was wearing like flip or like cute little sandals and she was like i was like yeah i'm about to wear these heels she said girl mm -mm. she's like uh -uh. she's like i don't got time for that and i'm just like i'm like dang like nobody wear no heels girl mm -mm. i'm a rookie to going out in like dallas during the summer like last summer i didn't really go out i was like working a lot now i know in the summer girl you don't wear no heels to no dang concert it's hot my feet was sliding to the front. It is hot and sweaty. That's what it is in the summertime. So, um, anyways, we finally get to the venue, y'all. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I need help. I'm like, somebody please help me. At this point, too, I'm sweating. I don't even know it. I go to the bathroom to um, wipe my feet. But then as I'm wiping my feet, 
I'm noticing that I feel like driplets of sweat coming down my face. That has never happened to me. Not as far as like, just like going out and about. Like, of course I've dripped sweat like working out, but I have never like just dripped sweat walking from point A to B, like just on a normal, like we about to just go out, like, you know, type of thing. I was like, what the hell going on today? Like, I felt like I was going through it today with, um, I'm really thirsty. And can y'all believe that I haven't had no food today? Like literally no food. So I'm gonna need to um figure out what I'm about to go eat. It's eleven thirty. There's literally nothing open. So I don't know what I'm about to eat, but I need to eat something. Anyways, um so yeah, like I said, and then my edges, y'all gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get with y'all when I get home so y'all can see everything. My edges was sweated out. That has never happened. Honestly, you guys, I probably should have just slicked my hair back in a um like when in the natural state because my edges lay way better when it's in its natural state versus me i literally strained my hair just for it to do this like that was it was pointless y'all and I, now that i'm thinking about it i could have saved so much time and i would have been here to see drew hill if i would have known that my edges was going to do that so girl rookie mistakes of dallas asia versus dallas y'all that's what this is i'm about to be re-watching the videos girl girl jonesy did what they had a so oh, baby and girl why this man walked up to me i'm trying to mind you the whole thing the whole time i'm thinking in my head was well as i'm trying to find my seat is okay i need to hurry up to find my seat because i just know people was looking at me they probably was looking at me like this girl looks crazy this girl can't walk in her heels her feet is hanging over her shoes she looks crazy now i gonna lie i got a lot of comments compliments on you know my outfit or whatever but girl the way my feet were screaming take the will of jesus and so i'm trying to get to my seat and this man he he stopped me and he was like hey he was like you know he was like um i just want to let you know wow like you are beyond gorgeous you are very very gorgeous and i was just like oh, okay thank you you know and then he was like you know nothing against all the other ladies over here he's like y'all are all very pretty he was like but you he was like you are so gorgeous and i was just like oh, okay thank you after that he was like he he was in my ear and he was like and i i think he worked i don't know if he worked for the venue he looked like he kind of worked for the venue but i'm not sure because he didn't have the same red t-shirt that everybody else was wearing so i'm not sure and so anyways um he said something in my ear and he was like i was wondering he's like i'm gonna go walk away but i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna find you and i was wondering if we can exchange numbers and i was just like no no <laughs> i literally just said it like that i was just like no and he was like, oh, no, we can't. I said, no. He was like, oh, okay, well, because I think he was saying something about um, we like to take ladies back to our guests or he said something. I don't know what he said. I don't know if he was trying to, like, imply, like, I was going to go meet the, the artist or something. I, girl, No. I don't know you. What? Exchange what? Exchange phone numbers? So that means you can call me, text me, reach me? That's too much access, baby. I don't even like people texting my phone. Let's be completely honest, okay? So, I'm like, I'm sorry. Don't ever walk up to me asking me for my number. The answer is always going to be no. The answer will always, always be no. Even if I'm attracted to you and we we was attracted to each other and you're talking about something you have my number i'm gonna tell you no because i don't just give my number out that means you have access to me and if i don't want you to have access to me then why would i give you my number so the first steps first things first i mean you know you could get my social media and not on no oh follow me type thing but it's more so like if you want to talk to me you can speak with me through social media and i'll get to you when i get to you but you texted my phone that's wild that's actually very much crazy so no thank you sir but guy you look like you was old enough to be my grandfather so no sir no ma'am no pam no thank you ma'am no thank you sir. so oh please girl don't hit my car please don't hit my car while y'all trying to get up out of here 
Oh, he about to hit the car. He about to hit the car because you two, you, you so, now he done hit his car. Man, this man just backed up into the wall. There's a lot of things going on. That's because he trying to hurry up and get, see, that's what you get. You trying to hurry up and get in the line. Them people was not going to let you over. You literally, this man just smacked the wall and he not even going to get out to make sure his car is okay. But he definitely just smacked the hell out of that wall. Like the whole car moved back and forth. That was actually very wild to just witness and see. And I think he just got the car. He don't even got regular license plates on it. He smacked the shit out of that car. Yeah, go ahead and check it out. Because you definitely have a whole scrape on your shit. Yep, go ahead and look at it, Big Pimpin'. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. And I, yep. You got a whole dent and you got a mark on it. Yep. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Nope. It ain't coming off. Th sir, that is not coming off. Don't even try to scrape. You look crazy. I'm gonna mind my business, girl. I'm gonna stay right in this car. Y'all ain't gotta worry about me. I'm gonna be sitting right here. Is it happy or is it just me?